Python. Pythons are going to try to get away from you. Hey, pipe down over there, kid. Go lay in the shade. Sorry, you'll just have to bear with her for a moment. Um, sorry about that. I must say, my dog, you would think owning a dog, I've had her, obviously, she's, she's a couple years old now. She is terrified of my animals. She's terrified of the alligators, the snakes, she hates them, even snakeskin. I was being mean and kind of chasing her with the snakeskin yesterday. And she was terrified of it. So the next animal, can I get a older volunteer that would love to help me? You, come on up. All right, buddy, so I gotta pick somebody that looks like they're strong. Come on up here. We're gonna carry her down there because now that the sun's out, I don't want to put her on the stage that doesn't have shade. All right, now what we're gonna do is, since I'm pretty old now and I've learned in life that you want to work, you know, smarter, not harder, so I want more volunteers to help me with her. You want to help? You already helped me. You can help me. Who over here wanted to help? You want to help? Come on up. Yes, come on up. All right, is there another adult that would like to get involved in the party, the Python party? Yes, come on up. All right, I'm going to try to get this organized a little bit, and we'll line everyone up. Everyone wants to stand right in front of my stage. And I'm going to have you go to the end. Perfect. Now, pretend you like each other. Move right in. And what we're going to do is you're going to be the first one to grab some. And I'm going to pull her head. You're going to grab her. And everyone else, just go in and grab stuff. I put you at the end in case she wants to anchor herself. I'd rather be on something that's a little bit larger. Okay, and you don't look like you're going to be scared, right? You want to throw that behind you? I'm going to take her this way just to unwind her. Right, go ahead, buddy. Right in here. Come on back here a little bit. There you go. All right, next in line. Lift her out. Keep going. Keep going. And you got it for a minute. All right, don't be shy, kids. All right. Let her anchor right around your wrist. Put your hands right there. You go. All right, I'm going to have you slide to your right a little bit, and I'm going to take your head. Slide to your right a little bit more. All right, I'm out of breath. I think I need to start working out. Hey, we got a dog fight. All right, so um, I will get to all that really quick. This thing is huge. I will never get that. All right, so this is Zaz. Zaz is an albino reticulated python. She is extremely friendly, but she's heavy, so I'm kind of, I gotta get my, my breath back and get her out here. I always stay with her head just because any animal can get scared. She never has. She is nine years old, and when I got her, she was only about 20 inches, and in those nine years, she's never shown aggression to me or anybody else. Sorry guys, my throat is killing me. Hey, you guys want to help me? All right, we're going to come in here. There we go. Okay, I mentioned she's albino. A normal reticulated python, that's what she is, is a reticulated python. So a reticulated python, a normal reticulated python is not this color. She's brown and gray. Hey, is there any other volunteers that want to... Some older volunteers, you want to help? All right, you can help too. Get back there. This is why I try to get older people to help me because she is a lot of weight. There you go, squeeze right through. Yes, yes, this is... I don't... All right, so back to her. She is a reticulated python. Reticulated pythons hold the record for the longest species of snake in the world. That is 32 feet. Uh, many believe that the green anaconda is the longest snake in the world. The green anaconda is the largest snake in the world. What I mean by that, pound for pound, the green anaconda has more body mass and more weight. But foot for foot, the reticulated python is longer. Uh, in my trailer, I do have two retics and the green anaconda. The green anaconda is not quite as old as her, so she's only about 11 feet. She is wild caught, that's why I do not use her for shows. I will only bring an animal out that I raised from a baby. 
and have never had any incidences with. Any animal can get scared, and I bought the anaconda thinking it would be fine, but it's just, she gets a little temperamental, so she stays in there only for display. All right, but her, one thing that I want you to notice is on the tip of her nose, because I'm going to get asked this a million times, she burnt her nose on a heat lamp. Now, I took care of it, I put a cage around it so she can't do it again. It is healing up nicely, but that is what the dot is on her nose. Um, one thing that I want to mention, uh, the biggest misconception I get among snakes is that they're slimy. They're not slimy at all. They have scales that are made up of keratin. It's the same thing as your fingernails. So, since we're all up here struggling, I'm going to end my presentation. I have another one at 7.30. Hopefully it's a little bit cooler then. I try to switch it up um, a little bit, but what I want to do... You are welcome to come up here, see her up close. However, please don't go near her head. Just pet her body. There's 17 foot of her, if I even mention how long she is. She is 17 feet. She will easily get about 25 feet. Um, when you pet her, you're gonna pet and go toward the tail. That's the way the scales run. Um, and I appreciate everyone coming. Don't forget to go through my trailer. It is all free and have a great day.